Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you the best system from the best VPN category. Having tested more than 10 services, I chose the best one for myself. It is one of the most popular and well-known systems available on the market. Let me tell you 5 secrets that few people know about, but which make it truly the best in the best VPN category. I will leave a link to the official website under this video. Now we are starting. Private VPN is a Swedish VPN service that is basic in some areas but also has some interesting and unusual features. The network is relatively small, 60 countries and more than 150 servers. But torrents are supported everywhere and you get easy to use clients for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android, as well as setup instructions for routers, Linux and more. The company evaluated its technical specifications, including support for OpenVPN, L2TP and IVE version 2, stealth mode to bypass VPN blocking, support for port forwarding, system-wide and application failover switches, DNS and IP version 6 leak protection and connectivity for up to 6 devices at the same time. There is support for unblocking many services, including Netflix, BBC iPlayer, Amazon Prime Video, Disney+, Fox, NBC, CBS, and more. Private VPN says it does not outsource support and when you run into problems, you talk directly to the developers. Prices are marginally above average. $10.95 when billed monthly, equivalent to $7.31 if you pay 3 months in advance, or $5.95 on an annual plan. Private internet access only requires $3.33 per month according to its annual plan and adds an additional 2 months in the first year. Payment is accepted by cards, PayPal and Bitcoin. Private VPN claims that you get a free 7-day trial by emailing support. I tried this and they said it was not available. When I asked why the FAQ page said it was, Private VPN apologized for the inconvenience and said it would be available soon. If so, great, very few providers have any form of trial these days, but that's still no excuse for offering something on a website that doesn't currently exist. Luckily, if you do decide to pay, you are at least protected by a 30-day money-back guarantee. However, be careful, this only applies to new customers. You must provide a reason why you are requesting a refund and you will only be eligible if you have used less than 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. Private VPN claims to keep no logs of its users' online activity. The website appears decisive. Our Swedish privacy laws mean that governments do not keep traffic logs that can be confiscated. Unlike many other VPN providers, even we don't know what you are doing on the internet. This, of course, does not preclude logging session traffic, connection time, bandwidth, possibly IP addresses. Since private VPN puts a limit on six devices, it supposedly maintains a list of user sessions, but we couldn't find anything about that on the site. It's a shame, but this is not unusual. And since private VPN is based in privacy-conscious Sweden, I suspect any details will be relatively secure. The rest of the privacy-related fine print is very similar to most other VPNs. Private VPN only stores your email address, it uses cookies on the website and may use third-party analytics, but there is no sign of data sharing or other questionable activity. While this is good news, potential customers still have to trust that private VPN delivers on its promises. Many providers are currently subjecting their systems to public safety and privacy scrutiny providing users with real independent evidence of what they are doing and hopefully others will do the same. On the surface, private VPN's offering for Windows is very similar to any other VPN app you've ever seen. A mobile-style interface, a large on-off button, current location and a list of others, and the menu button that leads to setting and a few other parts, and the menu button that leads to settings and a few other parts. In addition to all available servers, private VPN also shows their pink times. For example, click your current location and you won't have a main text menu. Instead, a separate window opens with a list of cities, each with a response time. You can sort them by name or distance, use the search box to find a specific server or save your most used location as favorites. And there are separate panels for dedicated IP and streaming locations. You can change your VPN protocol, enable two emergency switches 
and more in your private VPN settings. This is just the beginning. Click advanced view on the main console and you can see and change your open VPN protocol TUN, TAP, TCP and UDP, L2TP, PPTP and open VPN encryption method. Other options include IP version 6 and DNS leak protection, two emergency switches, a hidden VPN blocking bypass feature, various auto run options and diagnostic tools including an install repair feature for the Windows TAP adapter and a pointer to log files. All these power makes the interface cluttered in places and beginners can be confused by some technical terms. Use the app for a while however and you may change your mind. Connection time is fast, desktop and audio notifications alert you when you're protected and when you're not and it's all surprisingly customizable. If you don't like notifications you can turn them off with one click. There are capable technologies under it too. Whatever extreme tricks I used to close the connection and disconnect the client, it immediately detected the problem, raised an alert and reconnected within seconds. Also during my tests, the emergency switch showed almost perfect results. Whenever I closed my open VPN connections, it immediately blocked internet access without a hint of a leak. But if connected via PPTP or L2TP, there was a very short period, potentially only a fraction of a second, when traffic could be opened. And the emergency switch warns that it won't be able to protect you if you switch servers while connected. Despite all the features on offer, there are a few features you might be missing out on. The client does not have an option to automatically connect when accessing an insecure network, for example, as we see in many other basic applications. So there is some room for improvement, but it's still a nice tool that some power users might like. Unlike many competitors, private VPN doesn't make big but vague promises to unblock all streaming sites in the known universe. Its apps provide specific locations to unblock services like Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, DAZN, Disney+, HBO, Hulu, NBC, Netflix, RTE+, Player, Sky, SVT Play and more. I haven't tested all of this, but private VPN has succeeded in everything I've tried, including giving access to iPlayer, US Netflix, Amazon and Disney+. Nor does the company assume that you only want US content. For example, open the Netflix category and you can also select locations in Canada, Australia, Japan, France, Germany and other countries. Private VPN is an interesting VPN that gives you many features for a very reasonable price. There are faster VPNs with better engineered clients, but private VPNs, advanced configuration options and top-notch website unblocking means it's worth a try.